Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In this video I want to show you one of the new tools in Cinema 4D Release 21, which is the UV Transform tool. As you can see I already adjusted the layout here to be the UV Edit layout. And in order to use the UV Transform tool we need to select some UV polygons. So let's make sure that we are in UV polygons mode and that we have the selection or move tool active and then we can just double click a UV polygon and it will select the whole UV island. Now we can click this button here and this will enable the UV transform tool. Now you can see the gizmo here and you can of course start doing the most basic transformations to this UV island. For example, we can move the whole thing and I will undo this. I will undo a lot of things here. Then we can rotate if we have the cursor outside of the gizmo. And of course, we can scale the whole thing and you see that it's a uniform scale. But this is getting really interesting if we use the modifier keys with it. So let's hold down shift and move the whole UV island and you can see that it snaps to the U or to the V axis here. You can have the same thing if you just drag and drop these arrows here or here. Then also with the shift key we can scale non-uniformly. That's also quite useful. Now the next thing would be altering the anchor point here and you can do that by simply dragging and dropping it to somewhere else but you can also hold down Alt and just click somewhere and then the anchor point will be there. If I rotate the whole thing now you will see that the anchor point is the center of rotation now. But we can also hold down Alt while we scale for example and then the anchor point will be the center of the scale. If we bring that back to the middle here you can see that we can hold down Alt to scale the whole UV island towards or away from the middle. Now the last modifier key is the control or command key and this will introduce distortion. So if I hold down control here and move one of the corner points you can see that I distort the whole UV island. If I do the same thing with one of the edge points here you can see that we share the whole thing and if we hold down Alt in addition, we shear with the anchor point as the center for this. Now that's already cool, but let me show you one thing more. If we use the selection tool here and just select a few UV polygons here and zoom in and let's again activate the UV transform tool. If we now use Alt for example and scale the whole thing, you see that this UV selection is now detached from the other UV polygons. Let's undo this. And now let's go down to the attributes of the UV transform tool and let's check keep face neighbors. Let's do the same thing again and you see that the connections stay intact. And here's one more thing that I really like, which is the soft selection here. So let's check this and maybe let's bring this down to five. And now let's scale again. And here you see that we've got soft selection within the UV transform tool. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.